good scooter, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I don't know what it is about Pookies and Ray Rays in attracting beautiful women that have so much to live for, but Pookies, possessive Pookies, do just that. Some Pookies change their ways and find the Lord and find something else, but then some just continue on to destroy everything they come across, especially the young women that they marry or date. And this is going on with this New Orleans rapper by the name of Mad Music Kelly. His real name is Justin Lewis. And unfortunately, he is now arrested for doing this to his pregnant ex-girlfriend, Raisha Heard. The family of a pregnant mother killed in her parents' driveway says they're relieved that police have made an arrest now. They say that while the suspect was on the run, he was posting on social media and even responding to their posts. Channel 2's Tom Jones live at DeKalb County where the family says this isn't the first time they've lost a loved one to gun violence. And Justin Raisha Heard was killed right here in her parents' driveway. The family says a year ago they lost another family member to gun violence. They say Raisha helped them deal with that death, and now she's gone. Our family is devastated. Devastated. The Heard family is crushed after a gunman shot 31-year-old Raisha Heard seven times in her parents' driveway, killing the pregnant mother of two. Police have charged Justin Lewis, a rapper who goes by the name Mad Music Cali, with her murder. Raisha's family says she had broken off their relationship because he was abusive. This is a person who has mistreated her for years. The family says Raisha was shot in front of her nine-year-old son. They are relieved Lewis is in custody. I'm just happy that Justin is captured because we don't want anybody else to experience this. No other family. The family says this isn't their first brush with gun violence. We just buried my brother last year for gun violence. Raisha was the glue that held everyone together. That was my rock. Mm -hmm. She was really helping me heal. Now she is gone. The family couldn't believe it when they saw Lewis on social media after the shooting, like nothing had happened. I actually posted that he was wanted and that we were going to find we were going to find him, and he liked it. He liked the status. They are now urging people to recognize signs of trouble early in relationships and get out before you become too attached. Don't fall in love to find out that. You know, your hands are not for hitting, they're for hugging. The family says they're on a mission. We're going to definitely seek justice for Aisha. And the herd say Lewis was the father of Raisha's unborn child. He is now in the DeKalb County Jail facing a malice murder charge. Raisha will be laid to rest on Monday. We're live in DeKalb County. Tom Jones, Channel 2 Action News. Now, this guy is not his first time having a situation like this. According to The Shade Room, his ex-wife, Sydney Dalcor, he was responsible for her death. She was found shot to death outside of her car in New Orleans. Check this out. So that was your current girlfriend? No, I ain't got no girlfriend. No girlfriend at all. <sighs> you feel me? Only thing is my wife. That's the only girl, you feel me? That right. ever, my wife. But Lewis didn't go into detail about his wife because she's also dead. 25-year-old Sydney Dalcour, who was also a rapper that went by China Doll. This is her sister, Tracy. So she was married to Justin for five years. He was really abusive to her. He fought her a lot. Like, he gave her black eyes. He put her in the hospital. She had to have staplers in her head. Like, say if she get, like, pretty and stuff, he a fighter for that. As a family, did y'all ever talk about getting her away from him? I mean, seeing her with bruises, black eyes, all of that? All the time. Her cousin, Mariah Dyer. She loved him so much. I think she had, she had hope and dreams that he would change his ways, and he never did. And it went too far. May 18, 2017, Dakor was found shot to death in her car outside an apartment complex in New Orleans. Police back then said that she was parked between two buildings with the engine still running. Her family said she had just gotten off work as a waitress. We 
all instantly knew he had something to do with it because like my cousin said she had no problems with nobody she was loved she was adored by everybody he was never charged for the murder against his ex-wife but it happened in a very similar fashion to this young lady who was pregnant with his child already had two kids and i'm not trying to be insensitive to anybody's family so this is not what i'm trying to do or the young lady but then my question has to be what is it that a woman sees in general in a man like this like listen to what he raps about if you would have listened to what he raps about you know so a man thinketh so is he shout out to sinful to Pete, right and that is in the scriptures so then when you see these young ladies out here in black america they are even thinking about even dealing with a man like this they fall in love with a man like this my question has to be where are some of, the, of these ladies minds at you know where did they find out that you know what this is the kind of guy I need to deal with. And, and we're going to be honest, man. These are beautiful young ladies. These are not ugly young ladies he's dealing with. He's dealing with good looking young ladies. But unfortunately, a lot of sisters go this route. Then what happens as you get a baby by a guy like this, a guy is abusive. Then once that happens, it's almost impossible to be able to deal with a man, to be able to work with a man, to be able to love on a man, to do anything with any man, you are just completely terrible. It's just pathetic. You don't have any ability to do that. It's awful, guys. And now this young man has not responsible for one, but for doing this to two women in our community, right? And I know, well, some of y'all gonna be, well, they should have been dealing with X, Y, and Z. That's that that could be true. But at the same time, is what are, what are we teaching these these people in our in, in our culture? First of all, for a man to even want to be a rapper like this, somebody says in the shade room com comments that I remember Mad Music Cali trying to rap for the Takashi Nine and other rappers to get on. I felt he was super desperate then, and look at him now. As a community, we really need to get rid of these serial killers everywhere. And what needs to happen is, and I'm going to say this is going to be very controversial, but who are the parents that are raising these folks? See, the city of Chicago is tired of it. What they're going to do is all your, 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 your unruly kids, they're going, they, they want to start finding the parents $5,000 for each crime they do, something like that. And, and you know, Chicago is a very liberal city. Nah, people are tired of talking about, you know, um, black oppression and, and, and the white man holding us back. No, no, no. Folks want accountability. And these families need accountability. And this guy was on Instagram live as he was, you know, he had the unmitigated gall to be doing this. Don't worry, bro. We're going to see how real you are in prison. Like all of that stuff you're doing, being a coward, uh, shooting up ladies in, in, in their driveway. How, how, how real you going to be in prison when you ain't got no gun? He going to be the one in there getting, getting, getting cheeks clapped. I can guarantee you talking about you innocent. Yeah. Yeah, boy. We're going to see how real you are. And again, here's what needs to happen. Okay. Where are these ladies learning that these men, I just want to know, these men are worth talking to. I, I'm not going to lie, man. I, I, I see Sukiana. I see Glorilla. I see a lot of chicks, man. They be really pushing these dudes, you know, to the level of like, oh, you know, if he ain't real, if he ain't a thug, if he ain't all sexy red, if he ain't a shooter, I can't deal with him. Okay, well, then what happens when they start shooting you? What happens when they start doing that to you? What start happens when they turn on you? You're not even thinking about that, are you? You don't even consider the fact that these guys are idiots, a lot of them. You don't even con con consider the fact that these guys don't care about nobody because nobody ever loved them. A lot of these brothers have never been loved. So you think they're going to love a woman? They're going to protect a woman? Why do you think NBA young boy, a lot of these young black men got all these kids by these different ladies in the, com in the community? They don't respect them women. They don't respect them women. You think they respect somebody acting like that? No. 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 That's why they can go out there and have babies by different women and treat them like cattle or something like that. Because nobody ever cared about them. They mama didn't care about them. They daddy didn't care about them. So when they come out here, all they know is terror in black America. Terror. Complete terror. Complete vitriol. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Put your fire, you your bell. We're out.